All right, so here we have the iForce IF1407 3500KV motor. This was sent in by iFlyRC.com. Thanks for sending it so I can uh, put it to the thrust stand and see what it can do and compare to compare to other motors. Uh, again, another one, uh, another addition to the already quite popular 1407 class of motors. Uh, with powering uh, 3 inch and 4 inch props uh, and some people running 5 inch but uh, I think these are better for 3 and 4 inch props uh, so this one's 3500 kV um, that seems to be the the sweet spot for uh, 3 inch props uh, gives you a good balance between outright uh, top end RPM and uh, mid range to low RPM torque and responsiveness so that seems to work pretty well for for the most part uh, 3500 kV uh, so this motor uh, I guess it would fall under the uh, mid uh, mid budget uh, region so so let's see if let's see if what features it's got. Uh, uh, now this is per per manufacturer uh, per manufacturer's specs. Uh, it's they're on the on the product page. Uh, they're saying uh, this has uh, N52 magnets and uh, 0.2 millimeter 0.2 millimeter um, laminations. Uh, that that seems to be uh, the case with the laminations. They do look uh, like 0.2 millimeters. Uh, now looking at the stator, those seem to be ex almost pretty much exactly uh, seven millimeters. So it's not undersized or or oversized. Uh, it's almost right on the dot, uh, seven millimeter height. And uh, of course the uh, diameter uh, should be 14. Pretty much 14 millimeters, so so that's uh, that's nothing nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh, the rest of the build is uh, pretty much standard uh, standard uh, bearings, two millimeter shaft. Uh, the shaft is looks like it's uh, just pressed in. Uh, there's no uh, grub screw. And the uh, the they give you this al aluminum uh, nut, so that's that's a nice detail. Uh, almost everybody now is giving you is giving you aluminum uh, prop nuts. The uh, the bell housing uh, does seem to be pretty sturdy. It's a uh, it's not that uh, thin, so it's got a it's got a good thickness to it. The magnets uh, don't seem to be curved, but uh, for this size, uh, I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. Um, they're very narrow, so uh, because of the overall size of the motor, uh, curving them it, it would help, but I don't, you know, I don't think it's it would be a big big advantage but it, it would help windings uh, they're okay not the best I've seen uh, but you know it's, it is a budget motor so it looks like the in, in some of the poles they uh, you know they're, they're not exactly all that neat uh, but you know not it's not nothing like extremely bad it's just not you know not on, on at the level that uh, brother hobby or uh, rotor geeks has uh, like this this one wire here it's a little bit kind of like but you know um, from what I've read uh, as long as it's within the the general area it, it's not gonna make much of a difference so it's just mainly aesthetics uh, but you do try to make sure that uh, the wires don't bulge out too much, uh, like here. 
because these are like null areas there, there there's no uh, electromagnetic force produced here at the uh, what they call the top of the turn and the bottom of the turn so so you try to make it as closely packed as you can right here let's see in the back we just have just the standard uh, pattern uh, two millimeter fasteners there the included uh, motor leads are about uh, let's see about uh, about 75 millimeters so that's plenty of length uh, for most uh, for most most frames though now uh, that everybody's kind of using the 4 and one ACs It'd be nice if uh, motor manufacturers st start uh, uh, giving you more length of wire, so you can go straight to the to the center of the frame where the 4-in-1 ESCs are, instead of having to splice uh, wires. Uh, much neater to have uh, the wire going all the way to the middle. Uh, other than that, uh, the build uh, uh, looks pretty solid. Uh, I mean, nothing nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, these do come in uh, uh, CCW and CW thread, so this one is uh, uh, reverse thread. So let's look at the weight. So they're claiming 14.8 grams on the weight on the product page. So let's look. Uh, let's see how what it weighs here. And oh, there we go, 14.8. So as far as uh, Specs uh, from the product page. They're saying uh, this one's uh, uh, good for three to four S, and uh, uh, maximum continuous current uh, should be seventeen point three amps. That's what they're saying. And uh, or that or two hundred and fifty six watts. So that would that would be the maximum. Uh, so yeah, eight about about eighteen amps uh, should be good enough for for most three inch, most three inch props. Of course, uh, when we when we test it on the thrust stand, the amps are gonna be a lot more because uh, on the thrust stand, you know the the current and the thrust is exaggerated. So you have to keep that in mind that uh, that you know we're using a power supply that doesn't doesn't sag the voltage doesn't doesn't go down you know it, it stays pretty much at 16 or 15 volts whatever we set it at uh, and also it's static so the, the prop is not moving so it's able to to grab uh, a lot more air and there's you know there's turbulent there's more turbulence there so it's it's recirculating air so that also adds to the load uh, when you when you fly the prop is moving so the air is passing by uh, with certain velocity so prop it on loads it grabs less air and in turn the motor uh, sees less load uh, and of course the the thrust and the amps are going to be lower uh, anywhere from 25 i always say anywhere from 25 to 35 uh, percent less yeah, uh, that's not a you know that's not scientifically proven it's just uh, for what I've observed in a couple of uh, bills that I've done uh, I, I haven't actually measured that on this size motor I've measured it on larger motors so I'm, I'm guessing that it, it would also translate into s the smaller motors uh, one of these days I'll, I'll have to measure that uh, for the smaller motors but uh, 25 to 35 I don't know it's a good ballpark uh, but the point is it, it it uh, the current's gonna be a lot less in the air, so you know don't don't get uh, don't get so scared about seeing those those high amps on the thrust stand. Uh, and again, also the uh, the static thrust uh, results are you know they're not all the uh, they're not the bottom line on each motor, but it does show uh, motor capacity to to turn a prop you know like how how 
how strong the motor is if you keep all the other uh, testing parameters if you keep them constant throughout the test you can compare you can do comparison motor to motor see which one is actually able to to spin props uh, faster or spin props uh, larger props more efficiently so that you know that's that's a good way to compare motors all right so now let's move on to the thrust test let's see what this can do All right, so let's look at the results for the iForce uh, 1407 3500 kV motor. Uh, we'll just quickly look at uh, some of the uh, props uh, worthy of uh, consideration, uh, uh, which is what I what I mostly test right here. Um, so the uh, the Lumineer uh, 3040 by three. This is you know one of the props that shows off uh, how uh, the power of a motor, you know, how much uh, how much RPM this size motor can get, uh, and what amount of torque it can, you know, it can uh, uh, produce. So this is a good uh, a good measurement prop. Uh, uh, so 620 grams. That's that's pretty that's pretty good uh, for this prop at 20 20 amps. And the other one that's a good uh, measure, uh, it's the uh, Genfan uh, 4045, uh, 730 grams at uh, 23 amps. Uh, pretty decent, you know. Well, I'll compare this to the Brother Hobby sh shortly, uh, just to see what uh, how it compares to to the Brother Hobby, since that one is the pretty much the golden standard for for the 1407 class motors. I also went ahead and tested the 5030 prop, uh, just you know, just to see what it will do. Uh, you know, a lot of people want to see what uh, what these tiny motors will do with a five-inch prop. Although uh, my opinion is is that's too large a prop for for the for this motor. But uh, uh, there are some people that like to run it on like super light uh, uh, frames. So you know there it is, 868 at uh, 27.7 amps, uh, uh, pretty high, pretty high amps. Uh, but of course this this will go down as soon as you you know when you when you're flying, it'll be a lot less than in the thrust stand. The thrust stand exaggerates uh, the amount of amps in thrust. So amps are gonna be anywhere from 25 to 35 percent less, and thrust is also gonna be the, uh, less. All right, so let's compare it to the uh, brother hobby so let's look at the uh, uh, couple of the props that uh, would make a good comparison uh, team racecraft 30 30 by 4 uh, pretty close pretty close to to that one uh, uh, 551 versus 553 19.9 .9 versus 19.3 so this one's slightly more using slightly more amps uh, HQ 3030 by 4 
Let's look at that one. H HQ 33 by 4, 582 and 580, 18.7 amps, and this one is 20.5. So, so that 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 uh, it, we're starting to see a trend. This this motor is using so, uh, a bit more, uh, slightly more amps, and and yeah, I kind of uh, saw that uh, for the. For the heavy props, um, like the uh, Gen 5 4045, it, it was getting a, a little bit warmer than the Brother Hobby. The Brother Hobby is just really good at at, uh, at not getting hot at all. Uh, this one just got a little bit w warmer, so that you know that kind of shows that uh, it, it's gonna use a little bit more amps, and and you know you might wanna you may have to like. Uh, Really check the props. You know, it, it might not like like to be too over props. So, so I would say for for this motor, the 5030 wouldn't be a, a good match at all. It like it gets a lot of thrust, but it, it got quite warm. So, so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't run a 5030 on that. All these other props are fine. You know, the the three inch props, those are fine. But uh, and even the 4045 should be fine. This one will be fine. But yeah, on the on the five inch prop, I I just wouldn't try it. Or even the the 4045 by three, uh, it might be a little bit too much for this motor. Uh, but uh, the numbers are pretty pretty good for this motor. Uh, pretty close to the brother hobby. Brother hobby is still up uh, a few grams on this one. And it does better on efficiency. It's using fewer amps, uh, so you know it. Uh, it's a hard motor to beat uh, in performance. But uh, you know this one's a but somewhat of a budget motor. I think it's around thirteen dollars each. So not quite full budget motor, but middle in the middle, you know, mid budget or so. So not too bad. Uh, it's uh, pretty, pretty, some pretty decent uh, numbers for performance. So there you go. That's uh, yet another uh, option worth considering. Uh, hopefully the motor uh, proves to be durable and has good quality. Uh, you know when it gets abused. Uh, uh, I've only used it in the thrust stand, so. Uh, uh, and it's just got it a few weeks ago, so no, haven't had a chance to actually fly it. Uh, just too many motors to test, and I, I can't, I can't fly test them all. So sorry about that. You know, I, I'd like to, I'd love to have enough uh, long-term use so that I can tell you guys, uh, you know, like if the magnets slip or any other issue. But it, it's really hard to do with so many motors coming out uh, uh, every time, you know. So yeah, uh, hopefully it's a it's a durable motor. Uh, you know, it's uh, this class is getting kind of crowded. Uh, the 1407, a lot of uh, motors coming out lately. Uh, uh, so there it is, uh, one more more motor for uh, those fast uh, three inch quads. Uh, well, hope you find that uh, useful, and thanks for watching, and until the next video.